So we did a thing. What? We did a thing. Tonight on Wife Swap, a busy mom of three with firm Christian values. It's like military camp here. And a traditional but spiritual mom of two. Are you using the compass? They swap lives for one week. She seemed to be unprepared. At first, they live according to the house rules. They're not to deal with at the same time. It feels very pointless to me. But then they run the homes their way. No ways. We just had a bit of a, you know, a misunderstanding. We need to be a family that is actually living a real life. It will change their lives forever. Mm -hmm. It does not resonate mm -hmm. with our culture. I've learned a lot here. Yeah. This is Wife Swap South Africa. We're about to watch our episode on TV and to be honest, my heart is beating right down on my toes. You can say it's that insane. again. You can say that again. It's crazy, right? I'm so excited for on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. What's up, besties? Good morning. I actually can't believe we did this. Oh my god. We did a reality TV episode and there's a lot to unpack. There's a ton to unpack. So a few weeks ago, I shared on my community tab, on my Instagram stories, on my WhatsApp status, just about everywhere to let everybody know that we have shot a reality TV episode and it was airing or it aired on the 7th of October, 2024. <laughs> It still blows my mind to this day just saying that out loud like we did what? It was honestly the most life-changing experience of my life. Would I have done it under normal circumstances? No, absolutely not. Were there abnormal circumstances? Also no. Huh? Let me give you guys a backstory because I mean I didn't say anything about this for so long until it was actually airing for two reasons. One, you're not allowed to talk about what you shot until it was actually time to watch what you shot so I couldn't really say anything. Second, we shot this back in fab i don't know if you guys watched but at the end of the episode the kid from the other family is like happy valentine's day yes we came back home on valentine's day so we shot it early in the year i honestly had completely forgotten about it i'm not gonna lie in the moment after shooting i had so much to say but i couldn't say anything because nda yeah that happened here we are let's unpack the episode ed did you watch comment down below let me know did you watch the season is called or the series is called wife swap south africa there is an australian version of it super dramatic super intense i was worried for my family and for my life but i took a chance anyway and we kind of sort of loved it i think <laughs> I think we did. This is basically me unpacking the episode as well as our reaction to watching the actual episode. We watched it, we were here at home, the whole family was here. I set up the cameras because I really, I wanted to get our genuine reactions because even though we were filming it, like we were part of the team, we were the cast basically. Obviously we don't experience it the way the filming crew experienced it. So we wanted to see it from the filming crew's perspective as well as, you know, how it was edited. You know, a lot of this reality TV episode episodes be full of drama so i'm gonna be talking about the actual episode here while also including our reactions to the actual episode i can't really show you guys the actual episode because that's very much illegal you can't film it on tv and put it up somewhere else i can't show you the actual episode but you will hear voices from when i show you our reaction clips so please bear with me this is wife swap south africa <laughs> Now, let's do a backstory. Let you guys in on how we actually got to where we were because it was crazy. That's something I never would have dreamt I would ever do in my whole entire life. I remember even my friend texted me and said, I'm so proud of you for stepping out of your shell and doing this because that was, that was 
completely out of character for me. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Did we swap husbands as well? No, no we didn't. Did we share a room? Also no, we did not. I had my own bedroom. The wife that was in my house had her own bedroom. She was actually sleeping in Kama's bedroom and I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a time where I was like, we've had a visitor in our home for like seven days and they finally got thank goodness. And people were like, wow, the thank goodness part. I had a guest come over into our house and she was sleeping in Kama's bedroom, but she has left thankfully but it's time to change her bedding and all the fun stuff so let's do it i got this from tech stores and it's actually really really cute That was just after filming, okay? She was here for like four, maybe five nights. <gasps> So I had to change up the sheets and everything and make sure that my girl goes back to her bedroom when it's fresh and clean. So anyway, long story short, yes, the show is called Wife Swap South Africa. No, we do not share a bedroom with the partner. It's not a romantic swap. We're not swinging. The whole point of that show is basically a social experiment to see how other people run their household. And that's where they got me. At the time, Dizzy was legit convinced that I'm a control freak and I always want to do things a certain way. Like I'm always worried about the house not being clean and stuff like that and why do i have to have a meal plan can't we just randomly eat whatever we want we're just basically going through that and when they came to me i was like you know what trust the universe right so i hopped on it of course i spoke to the family about it because i knew they would be impacted and they would have to be part of filming crew i mean the cast crew and so i spoke to them about it he said give me a few days to think about it eventually he came back and he said yes let's do it and so we did it. We spoke about this back in 2023 before we started filming in 2024. So it's a long journey. TV production is insane. Um, before this, the only other TV I did was actually a live show where we were recording live. And then they'll send you a DVD of what you were recording because you obviously would have missed it. So we never did TV like this. Two days before we actually started filming, I couldn't eat anything. I was so nervous. I felt like I was gonna die from being so nervous. It was nerve wracking. So fast forward to October and our episode aired on the 7th of October and this is pretty much how we reacted. Yeah! Mr. As parents, I'm the fun disciplinarian parent. Everyone must see the Nazi I really tight shift because we don't have a helper. If we're not on routine, things just fall out of place. Like military camp, yeah. We need to be a family that is actually living a real life. It will change their life. What? If it gets tougher, remember that you are uh, behind you as a family. And then you should be ready to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you put my bag for me? I'm hoping not to find teenagers. <laughs> it's clean, I can see because they have kids, so I'm not gonna say it's not as clean as I <laughs> as you would I want. usually want to keep it. Girl, no. I lived in your house for a few days. Like th that's that's not true. No. First impressions. I think they might have two kids, maybe a boy and a girl. I'm not a big fan of TVs in the in the master bedroom. What? But other than that, what is going on? I think it's it's a great uh, uh, space as well. Wendy and Ola Rata will now read through the household manuals. I was right. There's two kids. Um, so it would be refreshing because I have three. Now I've got three to two, okay. Now go in. Bro! Um, <laughs> wow! Calls himself a cosmopolitan zoo um. man. Huh? Meaning, um. he respects me as I do him. However, he expects a wife to be so... Oh no! Not submissive? What do we mean submissive? <laughs> <laughs> it's never our way or the highway. Mmm. <laughs> the gentle, the gentle part. Um, I'm, I'm a strict parent. We don't have a helper. Oh no. <clears throat> Exposed. I, I don't believe 
and burning sage at all. <laughs> they are modern parents through and through. Oh, oh come on! on. Did, did it happen this week? Are you serious? I have partly to kiss. Oh, Cuss. her latest is me too. <laughs> like, cut. One, two, three, That's four. literally the next day. Five, six. <laughs> Their oldest son admitted to me that he goes to bed at like freaking 12 a.m., 1 a.m. And it's normal. I see Friday you guys are yeah, having but with chicken and cabbage. Yes, that's the yes. that's the staple food here at home. Okay. So that's so why it's our like, favorite. Not so happy with that. I hope you brought your pop <laughs> game on. So the pop in the house uh, actually is not the staple in the house. It's just my favorite. So the pop and chicken and so we did a little trick and I said, you know what? Let's start with the my favorite food first. Seven. <laughs> And for the kids, because I heard you say that you have equal of here, I think, um, yeah, I small see pieces. She wasn't lying. I got a shell shock at her house when her husband told me kids don't eat a full piece of meat because kids don't pay bills. They don't deserve to eat that much meat. What? You guys normally get one piece or two pieces? I get one piece. Yeah. Okay. So a person who's not working, you don't give them too much meat. Um. My brain, like I was just like, Pfft. you wanna be spoiled? The everybody's equal thing threw me for a loop a bit. Chicken was well salted, was very nice. What? The cabbage, it's unusual. It's it can cost you a little bit. They normally come with a tray and then from tray to a place met. Uh -huh. Dad looks a bit hardcore for me. Yeah, there was moments where he was just like, oh, and I was just like, oops. She seemed to be. I'm prepared. So that was, yeah, intense. What in the name? The kids are, are busy <laughs> doing something else. It's a lot to deal with at the same time. Ew! There's no way you know, guys eat that. Just the same indoors. Did she eat it? Mm hmm. Oh, I love the brain! Did you have that when you guys are doing something? I'll be taking that with me to my house. All of that was attending weekly budget meeting. Saturday, yeah. what we normally, uh, you know, around this time, we have yeah. to uh, do the check in balances. Yeah, okay. yeah. I believe in budget. We had such a long conversation. I think we were talking for literally almost an hour, but then they included probably about a minute of that, which is fine again, it's editing, but I feel like that editing lost so much valuable information and conversation from what we were talking about. I think it was one of the first times that I realized that we're two very different people. I was just like, what is okay, going on? Yeah, I'm so also lost. Okay. Yeah, I was just then saying, okay, okay. So today I'm going to be okay. sitting. I have never done this okay. before, so this is an entirely new experience for me. But the weather's great, so I'm going to embrace it, I'm going to get into it, and I'm going to try and enjoy it. My mind won't shut down. Oops. My legs go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> A few different things to unpack in this episode, which I think I am allowed to talk about this because our episode has already aired. I went into this experience as my own genuine self. A few people commented on Instagram and said I, they can't believe I did TV without makeup and I'm like, I don't wear makeup every day. Um. I, in fact, I wear makeup probably a handful of times in a year. Why should I go and be this certain person on TV just because it's on TV? I'm not going to do that. Honestly, it hadn't even crossed my mind. I think we started shooting on a Thursday. I had my own filming crew and the other mom had her own filming crew. And I went to her house. I came with mine. She came here with her. So the crew I had was very understanding, very open, very like not this is our way or the highway obviously i don't know how they did things here because i hadn't met the other mom and so i didn't know exactly what they were doing in my house so anyway um yeah in the night i wasn't there by myself so it was me obviously them because you know the two kids and the husband is their house and then we had somebody else from the crew spend the night in the house just to make sure that i'm okay i'm comfortable and should i need anything she'll be able to call the crew we're not filming 24 hours a day we shot a few scenes and we would wrap for the day and start the next day. There's a few things, a few different things I didn't necessarily like about the episode. I felt like, like I said, I went in as my genuine self. I really didn't pretend to be anything I'm not. And when I was watching her and what she was doing and saying in our house, I was just like, girl, 
no but then in hindsight i realized her production crew probably their angle was that we're content creators we live and breathe content all the time we always have a camera with us all the time not everything needs to be for content but we need to be a family that is oh, actually oh, in life they made it sound like we hardly ever go outside and i'm just like uh, we go outside. We just don't go outside every day, but we do go outside. We go for walks. We go picnic. We do stuff. We road trip for God's sake. You have to be outside to do that. But I realized that it was their angle and there really wasn't anything I could have done about it. While my filming crew, their angle was more around family structure and the routine because I kid you not guys in that house, I was just like, first of all, the kids, no, no, that, that can't be normal. No, absolutely not. We had to change that. That was my crew's point or angle to shoot. And while hers, while here, yeah, hers was to say we're constantly creating content all the time. And they made it seem like we don't live all we do is shoot content all the time and it like i said it was really annoying and i hated how they made dizzy to come across as though he's not helpful and i know in the episode he went along with it i thought that i was you know helping out quite a lot but guru number one actually made me realize that the reason why we have a late, late sleeper might be because something is not efficient he tells me that he realized that was their point and it doesn't matter what he was gonna say he could have spoken until he turned blue but they were not gonna listen to him you know you guys have watched our vlogs you guys know the times where he's cleaning the whole house i don't just clean by myself he does a lot the morning routine is the morning routine for the both of us he gives the kids a bath i set up their breakfast and stuff we're a team basically and i hated how they made it sound like i'm doing all this alone and there was a part where they said i go to bed so late because because I'm up cleaning and stuff. I noticed that mom does all of the work and the cleaning up so by herself. No, I don't. <laughs> that usually leads to her uh, staying up ah. or going to bed late. It's That's not the reason why I go to bed late. Possible. I don't. Uh, like, what is this, you know? Especially because on our intro, I spoke about how you know, I stay up in the night because I'm editing every single night. I edit every single night without fail. Obviously that has changed because now I go to bed at 9 p.m., latest 10 p.m. So I'm quite uh, appreciative of that feedback. Yeah. Rule number two. What are you talking about? Wow. Wow. I'm here for no. no. She is my alter ego. Aspects of the meditation ritual are meeting with some resistance from Lisema. Yes, they should be. Before we start, is it possible just for today? Can we be able to do it <laughs> just like without God. the stones and the incense? We're watching! Yeah. Ah! It's hard for me to try and recall this because I'm actually you know thinking about it from the top of my head and not necessarily watching it i see bestie said what was the kids initial reaction to partaking in the show honestly i don't think the kids understood much about what the show was about but i did try and get them to understand as much as i can for their little brains and they actually got it so when the camera crew got here it was all systems go they were not they were not very like shy they were very open and honest the only mistake i think i made was that i didn't tell them that when i leave the camera crew gets to leave with me and they get a new camera crew but then again i didn't know at the time and the camera crew that came through i don't know them i feel like there was there was no connection there really was no connection and if you watch the episode you saw panola's reactions all the three kids were just so checked out and again they made it seem like our kids are impossible i remember there was a part where they were interviewing gamo about something and bonolo was throwing herself on the bed and stuff and i'm just like who are these these are not my children there's no way and yes granted you know kids act different with different people but that was just for tv <laughs> But the initial reactions, they were very excited. They asked lots of questions and I gave them lots of answers the best way I could. And when it was filming time, they were ready to hit the ground running. Fortunately, they got sick during production. When I got home, they were running fevers. It was just a shit show. The reunion moment I had so longed for and imagined in my head, I didn't really get that because everybody was just vegging on the couch and so tired. Only Gamazon was like, mama. 
so cute what made you guys decide to partake on the show i think i already touched on this one it was basically the curiosity to know how other people run their homes because like i said dizzy was convinced i am hitlering the whole damn house and being a control freak i think he sometimes still thinks like that and it's not even that i'm being a control freak yes i do like my spaces to be clean but he did feel like maybe i am being a little bit of a control freak because i constantly remind them guys laundry in the laundry basket not next to the laundry basket and not over the laundry basket in the laundry basket and i would ask him let's reset the kitchen before we go to sleep because when we wake up we basically start the day on a right foot and he didn't really get that until this woman was in our house and he's just like you know what you, you know what you're not wrong and then the last thing bestie said is i don't think the show did a good job at editing and showcasing the families the best way possible 100 percent, i agree they really didn't and i can't even say it's because they didn't have time because that episode was an hour long i do feel like the editor was probably overwhelmed and i noticed there's just one person editing i don't know if the person is editing the whole entire season or they're editing one episode like there's one editor per episode but for one person to have been editing that crazy I don't imagine anybody having the time to listen through an entire clip to make it make sense they probably got what they got and kept it moving discarded the rest which was so unfair because so much got lost in that process what things would you have wanted them to include that we didn't get to see the finance portion for me that was very very important they should have shown at least the peak of that conversation i can only speak from my perspective right because i wasn't necessarily sure about what was going on in my house at the time the other thing we did in the house was the bedtime because i one of my rules was that the kids are in bed at 8 p.m. Monday to Monday. No ifs, buts, or maybes. Come rain or sunshine, 8 p.m. the kids are in bed. Night one, it's great. They went to bed at 8 p.m. The dad was very stalling. There was a part where I even said, you know what? Forget the dishes. I'll do the dishes. Take the kids to bed. You are stalling at this point. Night two, I ended up having to take the kids to bed because he was legit just stalling going mia i don't know what was happening i had to take the kids to bed because i'm like i'm not gonna wait for this man to come up from god knows where he is when the kids are meant to be in bed and i took the kids no protesting they really did not argue with me in fact the kids said to me they really liked being in bed early and then you know we had so many conversations about just the kids in general there's a lot going on in that house and i, I think <sighs> I feel like it's so unfair for me to be talking about this now when I actually have only been in their house for a few days. There was a time where I actually had a real, I don't want to say argument, but we had a real disagreement with the dad because what happened was when I went there day one, they told me they had a helper and I asked what day does the helper come in, all that fun stuff. And they said, oh, the helper comes in on a certain day. Great, the helper does the cleaning, all the fun stuff, perfect, fantastic. In my house, I don't have a helper, but if you guys prefer to have a helper, I'm not gonna say take away your helper. You do you the way you've been doing you, great. So now, he was dropping the kids off at school, he didn't come back home, so there I am in somebody else's house all alone thinking, <sighs> what 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 is going on where is he and at the time our call time was like 4 p.m or something we're not shooting anything during the day until like 4 p.m and so i texted the crew because i don't have his number i didn't want to have his direct number i said oh if i need anything from you i'll talk to the crew the crew will talk to you because they have your number and vice versa fine so i text the crew and i'm like look this guy's been gone to drop off the kids in the morning i'm not sure what's going on the helper is not here time is running out what's supposed to happen at 2 p.m he says no he told the helper to not come through because he wanted me to clean the house what so i messaged the crew back i'm like with all due respect tell him i'm not cleaning the house by the time he got back i asked him about it i'm like why would you just leave in the morning and not tell me that you're not going to come back after doing the school run and then only telling me at 2 p.m that I, you told the helper not to come through so that i can get a chance to clean look i don't mind the cleaning but you need to communicate it better when you leave in the morning you tell me oh by the way i asked the helper to not come through since it's your rules like we're doing things your way so i can give you an opportunity for you to clean the house i would have cleaned this house you know you don't have to surprise me at 2 p.m. and that's not how it works I didn't clean the house I literally just swept before the crew got there because it was messy I just swept the house and made it look presentable so that when the crew gets here it's great and of course that's something I spoke about on camera as well but they didn't include that again one person editing that much footage is 
overwhelming i can only imagine yeah i mean that's it we shot an entire episode of wife swap one thing that we absolutely both hated myself and dizzy basil is that she came into a house and she brought in like stones and burning incense and stuff and i was just like we don't like that we don't like and we should have known because they called us i think a day or two before shooting started and they asked us like how deep into christianity are we and we said look we are very liberal we open-minded you know we're not gonna say when in room do what the romans do but what we didn't know at the time was that they're gonna let this woman bring all these things into our home but this basil was able to tell her like no we're not burning stuff we're not doing stones we're not doing no take all of this away and then we can do your stuff of course they tried to get me to meditate my mind would not shut up meditation is not for me okay there's a lot of things i'm willing to do but that's just not one of them anyway i think i've rumbled on way longer than I need to. The whole point of this was to just fill in the missing words. A lot of the besties actually messaged me and said they felt like what they showed on TV is not necessarily a true representation of who we are or how we run our household, which I was like, that's true. And I'm glad you guys were able to see through that. But let's just remember that's just reality TV. They had to have some sort of angle because otherwise it would have just been a regular vlog. They had to have some sort of angle and as annoying as it was, I guess it did the job, right? It did. And so, yeah, would I do that again? I don't know. I, I don't want to say no, but at this point, I don't know. It was fun. We got to get a different perspective. We got to appreciate our house more. We got to appreciate how we do things a bit more. The kids got to appreciate everything a bit more. So the goal was achieved for us, at least. No regrets. It was fun while it lasted. And I don't know if I would do it again. I don't know if the family would be up to do it again, honestly. Yeah. Reality TV, huh? Hectic stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching our reaction, the unpacking. There wasn't a lot of tea. I'm typically not a dramatic person, but I did want to say, you know, what I said, what was missed, what was not included. Some of the things I didn't comment on because I knew it wasn't going to look good and I didn't want to put her that way online especially because it's on tv a whole bunch of people are watching and i was not about to do that to her meanwhile she was in my house doing all sorts of things but it is what it is i guess we are all different we all see things different we all go through life differently and we cannot all think the same so it is what it is i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comment section down below which was your most shocking part from the episode if you watched and until then we'll catch you besties on our next video bye besties Tonight we're running on the right track